Lucy, I'm sorry I lied to you, and I'm sorry that I hurt you, but I won't apologize for fighting for our life. We could have fought this together. You know we could afford the best team of lawyers, all the lawyers in the world, and if we wanted. What if things didn't go our way? What then? I would have been looking at five years in jail, five years away from my family. But we would have faced that together as a family. That's not good enough anymore. I want to be there to teach Christina how to ride a bike, not read about it from behind bars. And I want to be there for our first anniversary together. I want to be able to raise a toast to my bride. So I found a way to make it happen. You bought your freedom. Well, $25,000 is a small price to pay for the privilege of continuing our future. Can you blame me for wanting my future back? I don't blame you for wanting that, no. I know what you're thinking. You're thinking my doc never would have done such a thing. Well, I am still that same man, Lucy. Only better. Because now I have the strength to do what it takes to keep us together. Lucy, isn't there some way we can get past this? What would you have done if you could not have bought off that woman? Up the price. What if no amount of money was enough? What then? Everyone has their price, Lucy. Hey, hey, you know what? Go ahead, go ahead. You keep playing with fire, you're just gonna destroy yourself. You know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna use the bathroom and powder my nose. Is that okay? Go ahead. Yo, Rafe. Special delivery, one water bottle. Thanks, man. Good job. So this is Steven's special design of water, huh? That's right. Doesn't go anywhere without it. He drinks it by the gallons. I, uh, snagged it from the rehearsal hall. Yeah, about that. Remember what we said, we just keep this between us, right? Mm-hmm. That works for me. And the guy's got a pretty fierce temper. Ricky, don't get on his wrong side. Oh, I wasn't planning on it. Hey. Hey. Wow, look at you. Why hmm? don't we get out of here? Because I got a really good dinner to make you. And then you can leave the rest of it. Ticket to freedom. So, what happens if someone who isn't one of us drinks that? Oh, don't worry about that, my love. You have no troubles. You have nothing to worry about. Forever. Home test. We made it back to where it all started. Home, Jack. Well, maybe not quite exactly, but at least it's where we met, huh? I never thought I'd say it, but it feels pretty good to be back at this place. Why? Why come back here? So that me and you can focus on us. Pretend like there's nothing else out there. Just you and me. Well, that's just pretend. No, no, no. Test, test. Hey. Whoa. This is our place. No, no, it's not. No, but th I don't want to be here anymore. Look. Come on. What's in you? Love, blood sucking vampire walk around like a normal guy. Come on, what's your secret? I find out and I'm one step closer to figuring out Stephen Clay's plan. One step closer to nailing that monster to the wall.
scares you? Um, I don't know. Could it be the sexiest, most beautiful girl in all the universe? Not quite. You forgot the luckiest. Hi. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Not yet. I have to go to my mother's. I would love to, but I can't yet. But look at. I brought you the Chamber of Commerce file on opening up a small business. Oh. Jamal gave it to us from, from the bike shop, so now you have a head start on the gym. That's great. So tell, tell him I said thanks. So. I will. Um, you could come with me if you want to. To your mother's? Yeah. We're going to go discuss wedding stuff. Uh, um, you could... Uh, yeah, um, I, I'm going to leave that to the experts. I, I, I've got some other stuff to do. Other stuff? Like what? Just, you know, stuff. Stuff. You're being so mysterious. Is this about the wedding? Uh, you, you have some you, no, 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 no. You, you, you take care of the wedding, and I'll, I'll take care of everything else. Everything else? Like, like what? You know, like, uh, our incredible, happy, wonderful future. Oh, okay. Bye. <laughs> oh, I am the luckiest girl on this planet. Like a rich Chianti after a feast. Mm. It looks like blood. Not nearly as sweet. But it creates a nice balance. Go ahead and try. Mm. I remember everything this time, dear. Remember what it's like to bite you. My hunger. The warmth. Just your veins feel like me. Mm. Everybody remembers their first time. Mm. And you always will. Mm, the whole idea of drinking human blood. Shh. You'll never have to feed on anyone. You'll get the urges. But the water will help you control that. But what if I accidentally... You'll never have to hurt anyone, Elizabeth. You can live your life exactly the way you want. And you'll never grow old. I'll never age. You'll always be as beautiful as you are right now. You're serious? Completely. I'll be ageless. Forever young, sweetheart. have to do is keep the water supply safe and never let anybody near it. Hey, Ricky, can you do me a favor and light the candles out there? The matches are on the table. I'll be right out. I got it. No problemo. Anything you want, as long as I get what I want. Actually, if you ever get out of here. All right, Libby, ready for you. My God. Do you like it? Huh. What's not to like? thinking time to give you a night you've never had some Stephen special water I just have to figure out what it means whoa, whoa, whoa. you're not supposed to be in that lab sorry I was looking for Ian okay, well Ian isn't working on any special research projects right now so why do you think you find him there Chris, relax okay I went through the wrong door the wrong locked door I guess somebody left it open. No, no one left it open. Don't you let me catch you in there again. Wait a second. You said Ian doesn't do research, but you do. Of course I do. I'm the best at GH. Why? OK, well, I, it's just that I have this list of chemicals here, and I have to figure out what it all means. And, and, so and, the, and you think you I'm going to help you because? Because the best researcher at GH should be able to help me. That is, if you really are the best. Let me see it. Dr. Jacobs to psychiatrics. Dr. Jacobs to psychiatrics. I mean, you, you recognize this stuff? 
No, I didn't say that. Come on, you're, you're a bad liar, Chris. Yeah, usually I'm a better one. Somebody's life depends on me figuring out what this stuff is. This is really close to a uh, formula I was working on last year, and I wish I never had. What kind of formula? That's really none of your business. No, Chris, I'm making up my business. It's a serum. A vampire serum. Since timing is getting worse and worse. What is she doing here? Uh, Mother? I don't know, but she's here. Allison, what Hi. a surprise. Um, I hope that I'm not interrupting anything again. Not at all. Thank you. Um, I know I should have called and not just, you know, showed up like this. Um, but oh, this is a really nice place. What, what are you doing here, baby? Um, I'm sorry, Mother. I know, you know, I'm just kind of dropping by like this is not okay, but but when I went to the hotel to go see you, the guy at the front desk said that you had left with Stephen and you looked like you weren't feeling very well at all. Are you feeling sick again? No, I'm 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 fine. I'm so much better. Well, are now. you sure? Because the guy seemed no, to think that I, I thought that I was having a relapse of that flu. But Stephen um brought in his specialist from Manhattan. And he gave me something, and it's just miraculously made me feel so much better. Wow, oh, gosh, that must have been some medicine to work that fast. Something like that. Are you sure you're okay? Oh, baby, I'm so good. I just have never felt quite like this before. Well, hold on. Slow down, drummer boy. I like to take it nice and easy. Really? So, yeah. I would have never thought that you liked it like that after all. Weren't you pretty hot and heavy for me the other night? Yeah. And nothing's changed. I just, I like to savor every moment. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. I think I can do that. Mm, this is nice. Hey, Ricky. Yeah? Could you, could you do me a a favor and go get some wine in the kitchen. It's on the counter. Yeah, all right. Thanks. I'll be right back. Don't forget the glasses. I won't. OK. Whew. Now it's time for my next little surprise. <clears throat> Steven. Hi, it's Olivia. I'm not really in a stalking mood right now. Look, don't hang up on me. I need to see you tonight. That's impossible. We'll find a way to make it possible. Because I know about your special water. And if you don't give me what I want, the next call I make is going to be to your little vampire slayer buddy. Don't push it. Then get over here now. I'm at my apartment. Honey, is everything okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Uh, <laughs> you ladies are gonna have to entertain yourself for a few minutes. Steven, something wrong? Is there something with the van? No. Well, this time it's personal. Someone's interfering when they shouldn't. Okay. Hey, nobody's gonna get hurt. Trust you. Remember our first kiss? I know, Jack. Of course, it's special here. But it's not our home. Not anymore. We don't belong. But see. I feel like I belong here. So that we can block out the rest of the world and just focus on us. Try, but I'm cold. Here, take my coat and I'm gonna build us a fire. 
Just like we used to. <laughs> Just need a few of these logs in. Ah, this will be fun. All right, here we go. I'm just gonna get this fire stoked, and you will be warm in no time. I like to watch you. Well, I like to watch you, too. You look so beautiful, especially in light like this. Can you hold me? I will hold you for the rest of my life if you let me. How can you be so sure? I just am. Just like I was about waiting. But I don't want to wait anymore, Tess. I want to make love to you. Serum? Are you sure? Well, I'm not positive, but you change a few of these ingredients. And yeah, it's really close to the thing I was working on. You were working on what? For the good of the world? Hey, people were turning into vampires. Somebody had to find a cure. Whatever. Just tell me what you came up with. Well, it was really something I stumbled on. It's like a vampire miracle drug. <clears throat> what do you mean? Well, it just gave a person all the benefits of being a vampire without the need to feed them human blood, and, 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 you know, when I tested it, it was... You, you, you tested this on someone? Yeah, but it didn't work. I mean, it really didn't work. It was lethal, and it almost killed them. Almost killed them. So did Caleb learn about the research? Caleb? Yeah. That's why he came after me. So he knew? Yeah, he knew. Hey, what's going on? Where did you get this? I got this. Well, wait a minute. What does this have to do with Caleb? Is he alive? Mm, this feels so good. You're a great kisser, you know that, Lenny. That's, that's not all I'm good at. Mm. Well, it's getting kind of hot out here on this couch. Why don't we take this in your bedroom? Only the bedroom? I didn't think you were so traditional. Oh, I'm not, but I... But why don't you start to take off your shirt? Well, where, where are you going? Here, I thought. All right. <laughs> don't worry about it. I'm just going to get the glasses and... Whoa, what's up with the lights? I want to be able to see the look on your face the whole time. Ricky. You've never been with a naughty girl before. I like the sound of that. Yeah. Why don't you come over here and find out? the guest list in a minute, I wanted to ask you something about the cake. Instead yeah, of doing four tiers, I think we can go five or six without it getting too ostentatious. And you're going to have to decide if you want the butter lace frosting or those little marzipan flowers. But in all Mother. honesty, I think you can do both of them. I'm going to make a couple of sketches so that you can see what they look like. Mother, I, I haven't even decided what I'm going to worry about. What do you think? I definitely want to be classic and understated, but not boring. Mother, so Mother, please. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Am I going too fast here? Yeah, if I didn't know any better, I would think that maybe you saw a touch of this, like, weird no, feeling. No, 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 no. I just, I feel so incredible. Do you want me to tell you my little secret? Yeah, I really wish you would. Allison, it's Stephen. This 
He just makes me feel so passionate about about him and about love and about life and and it is just spilling all over into everything and my greatest joy of all is that now i actually get to be your mother and help you with this allison i will always be here for you forever and not just this wedding but for the rest of your life I mean, I hope you find your brother or your sister. I know. I know you will. I'm so happy for you. I'm happy for you and for Sam. <gasps> oh, God, I completely forgot. Oh, I have these flowers sent over Allison. They are so beautiful. Wait, I, just, I lost my breath when I saw them. Where I'm just going to put them in some water, and then I'm going to freshen up a bit, and I'll, and I'll be right back. Just make yourself at home. Oh, my God. Okay, she has... All of her energy back. She has more energy than I do. And she's making me really tired. Thirsty. What do you what do you mean? You you can't make love. No. Jack, more than anything, want to be with you, but but not here. At home. To be just right. But that's you're scared, Jack. Hiding away here to keep. But this is your home, and it's a special place. No, it's not the same. I don't I, I don't want to be the same anymore. But why? Because you've taught me so much. You've, you've taught me how to, how to love and how to live in the real world. Do you understand? I'm so afraid that I was going to lose you. I'll never leave. I know. Just the headaches, you know? I mean, you told me you couldn't heal yourself, and you just got me a little worried, that's all. Please, can we go home? We can go home. Let me just put this fire out, OK? well what it is. I just don't want you near it. Why not? What's what's wrong with it? And while we're at it, what is wrong with you? My instincts were right all along, weren't they, Caleb? So it would seem. Seem? I saw your freaking fangs, man. Ah, uh, but we both know you can't always trust what you see. Mine is a funny way of playing tricks. One minute something's there, right in front of your eyes. The next minute... It's gone. Annie, hey, what do you say we move this into the bedroom? Um, can you just wait a little bit longer, please? Oh, wait for what? Something's wrong. What, what do you mean something's wrong? Nothing's wrong. The door's open. Oh, the door's not open. I closed it myself. Wait, wait, wait. Where are you going? Come here. Come on, let me go, please. What do you... try. But you're right, Caleb. The mind does have a way of playing all kinds of strange tricks. All right, thanks. 
Door's open. What do you want, Jack? Did you get my message? You want to talk to me about Tess? Yeah, I just wanted to find out why you haven't been by to see her since you've been back. I've been busy. Too busy to come by and see your own. What? My what, Jack? My daughter? Is that what Tess is supposed to be? It's possible. I mean, she does look like Libby. How do you explain that? Well, this is poor Charles, Jack. How do you explain a lot of things? There is no evidence that Libby had a twin. There is no evidence that this woman you call Tess even exists. Why do you care, anyway? Tess needs a family. She needs to feel like she belongs. So you want me to what? Invite her into the Collins family? And that would be so bad. Yeah, Jack. It would. Hey, look. I don't know how that door got open, but it's closed now, all right? We have all the privacy that we need, so won't you just come up? What are you doing? Why are you putting that on? I think you better go, Ricky. What? We're having fun here. Right. We're, but, um... Like, uh, things just didn't quite work out, so let's just call it a night, okay? <laughs> Wait a minute. Do you, you want to tell me what just happened here? I let's mean, not I get something? into a whole thing here, okay, Ricky, please? Oh, I, I'm sorry. I mean, pardon my curiosity, but a minute ago you couldn't get enough, and now you're practically throwing me out the door? Yeah. Look, don't worry about it. It's, it's nothing. Just a really, really big mistake. Yeah, you're damn right. A big mistake. You know what? You're seriously twisted. I haven't heard that before. Ricky, look, I'm, I don't mean to rush you or anything, but I am in a hurry. You and me both. Don't worry, Livy. I'm out of here. You know, there's a word for girls like you. I'm sure you've heard it before. Goodbye, Ricky. What? Tess? She still got some of the old magic left. Kudos. How'd you do it? Do what? You know what? How were you able to come back? Does it really matter? You're here, I'm here. I'm sure we both have our own reasons for returning. Well, I know what your reasons are. They never change. You're here to destroy. Who said anything about destroying anything? You're gonna stand there and deny the hell you put this town through? I'm not denying anything. All I'm saying is, that was the past. That was Caleb. What do you mean? You are Caleb. Uh, 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 uh. I may share the same good looks, but inside I'm new, and might I add, a vastly improved version. Not Caleb. Stephen Clay. Ah, I see. Well, you can call yourself whatever you want, but you're no different than what you were. I'm no different. How is it you can barely sense me this time around, Slayer? Hmm? And you might have noticed that, uh, I've been back a little while now, and nothing's happened. Bodies aren't piling up. Blood banks are safe. Wait, wait, wait. So what are you telling me? You're just a regular guy? As regular as a rock star could be. I see. So you're a regular rock star with fangs and with the strange ability to protect yourself. So how do you do that? How do you protect yourself from me, huh? I don't think it's talisman this time. I wonder what it could be. Oh, you know, I did notice something. The Caleb that I know didn't walk around guzzling water all day, but you don't go anywhere without it, so that's it, isn't it? Believe what you want. You know what I believe? I believe that that water allows you to not feed. So don't give me this, I'm all good now. I never said I was all good. No, you know what? You're never gonna change. The only difference is this time, you're not destroying everything straight out, you're just messing with our minds. You and your buddies tried to destroy me first. So that's it, you're back for revenge. Why is everything always so dramatic with you? Okay, yeah, I wanted to make a grand entrance. Get in your face a little bit, have a little bit of fun, but that's all there was to it. Okay. So you created this rock star persona just so you could get in my face? Don't flatter yourself, Rafe. I enjoy being Stephen Clay. Who wouldn't? Man, when you're a rock star, everybody loves you. Everybody adores you. Even your little fiance, Allison. Right. And let's not forget about her mother, Elizabeth. You know, the woman you bit. Ah, uh, that. Yeah, so what, what was that you were saying about no feeding, no blood? You took your fangs and you sunk them into her neck. You turned her. 
I gave her a gift. A gift I thought she'd love as much as you I You thought she would love being a vampire? She's happy. We're happy. We fulfill each other's needs. She's a perfect partner. A perfect partner that happens to be the perfect way to get to me. Does everything have to be about you, man? All right. I admit, maybe in the beginning it had a little something to do with it. But once I got to know her, I, I don't know, I ended up realizing how special she really is, and we just want to build this little life together. So what are you going to do, settle down, live happily ever after in Port Charles as model citizens? Yeah, something like that. I don't think so. So what do you have against Tess? And what has she ever done to you? I'll draw you a picture, Jack. Livy comes to visit me in the hospital. She tells me about this young woman who's come to town. Exact look-alike. Miraculous powers to do all kinds of things. Everybody loves Tess, including you, apparently. Meanwhile, those same people treat my daughter like something they scraped off the bottom of their shoe. Well, I see what this is about. You're pissed off because I fell in love with Tess. Psychologically, Jack, I won't even begin to go into the obvious implications of falling for the exact replica of the woman you used to love. Yeah, used to love before she destroyed it. After she destroyed all the other relationships in her life as well. Except with me. Well, maybe that says something about you, doesn't it? Goodbye, Jack. No, I'm not leaving here until you listen to me. Tess has nothing to do with Libby. She's nothing like her. She's somehow connected to you whether you like it or not. This is what you were waiting for, the Doberman twin here? I mean, this is part of your sick little game that you're playing here, Libby. You know what? No, no. I don't need to hear it. I don't care. Oh, and by the way, in case you were wanting to stop by the rehearsal hall and hang out with the band, forget about it, all right? You too, sis. Tess. God, what are you doing here? Where's Jack? Jack is... he's home. He's asleep. Well, you mean he, he doesn't know that you're here? I couldn't tell him I was afraid. Afraid? What were you afraid of? Tess, what is it that you couldn't tell Jack? I saw you, Livy. What? You were in... You were in the woods and you were dead. It's not a big deal, Allison. I didn't see why you're getting so upset. I'm getting upset because of the way that you are acting. You just took that bottle out of my hand like it was like, some sort of poison. No, there's nothing wrong with the water. It's... I just didn't want you to get my germs. I still might have a little bit of that flu bug. Let me see this. What? Let me see it. What? Oh, you think there's vodka in there? You think I'm some kind of a closet alcoholic? I don't, I don't know what to think. I don't. I, it is what I said, Allison. I just... I don't want you to get sick. That doesn't make any sense, Mother. I just took a sip of your soda yesterday, and you didn't seem to get upset at all. Why is this any different? Well, see, Stephen just said that it wouldn't be good for somebody who's not... Who's not what? Who's not in his group. Please, Allison, just... Give that to me. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, that's just the end of that. Um, let's talk about something more interesting, okay? Let's talk about the wedding. Wait a second. Look, you just said the other day, you just talked about special water, this designer water. Mother, is that, is that what this is? Is this like designer drugs? Has the band got you hooked on something? Oh, Allison, this, this is just very... Very different than drugs. <laughs> what are you doing, man? We've been down this road before. It doesn't solve anything. We do battle. One of us wins, usually me. But in the end, we both end up losing. Look at yourself, Rafe. I mean, sure, we can do this good versus evil thing till the end of time. 
Is that all you want out of life, man? Maybe I'm wrong, but I thought this time around you wanted to be normal. That is what I want. Okay. But right here, right now, we both have a chance for that. Do you really want to risk losing it over some ancient feud started by people we don't even know? Does any of this even matter anymore? Think about it. Because I do. I've been given this chance. A chance to live this incredible life. Money. Power. Love. Eternal life. Everything I've ever wanted. And I don't even have to hurt anybody. And you. Your future's right in front of you, right there for the taking. Everything you've ever wanted. Allison, a wedding, a honeymoon, a little vine-covered cottage with little blonde kids running around out in front. Man, you've got the dream. So we say we just drop all this once and for all, because from where I'm standing, we both have too much to lose. Come on, man. Give it a chance. Bury the hatchet. In this case, the steak. What do you say? There's only one problem, Caleb. See, you can't change who you really are. You might be a harmless rock star now, but it's only a matter of time before the vampire inside comes out. I'm sorry, Allison. It's just, if you knew how funny this really was. Okay, listen. Hey, I know about the whole rock band thing. Okay, I get it. I know that they experiment with, with a lot of different things, and that is sort of the mystique of it all. And it's very easy to get sucked in. And if you are on something, I'm not going to get upset with you. But if you are, just tell me, and I will help you. I promise. Allison, you have no idea what you're dealing with here. Okay, maybe I don't. But I think we both know how important it is to keep truth between us. And as long as we're honest with each other, we can get through anything. You really do care, don't you? Of course I care. You are my mother. And you really want to know what this is all about? It's the most amazing and beautiful thing. Oh, baby. We've gotten so close, haven't we? I would love if we could get even closer. You know what? I want to share this gift with you. Right now. What's the real problem here, Kevin? And are you afraid to face the truth? That Tess is the best part about Livy? And the daughter you love so much might be as big of a freak as you are? You don't have children, Jack, so it's no wonder you'd underestimate unconditional love. I have no idea where this Tess came from. The fact is, neither do you. I don't know what she is, and neither do you. But I do know one thing. She's out to steal Livy's life, and that does mean something to me, if not to you or to anyone else. So why don't you do us all a favor? Why don't you be Tess's family? I got my own. Ah, uh, maybe this is it. The answer I've been looking for, the explanation for you, Tess. Listen to me. You have to tell me everything, exactly what you saw. We were in, in the woods, and I was with Stephen, and he was pulling me away from you. Only it wasn't Stephen, it was Caleb. Caleb, listen, don't worry about that now. Go on. Come on, tell me the rest. Oh, I can't. I'm scared. Tess, don't be scared. Please, you have to remember, this is very important for the both of us. But it hurts. But I know. Tess, 
My head's hurting too now, just like yours. Listen, we we can't stop, okay? We have to try. We have to keep trying. We both will test. Please, just close your eyes and try to remember everything that you can, okay? Together a living, bound to each other through the ages to come of your own free will. Both our souls tied in eternity. Above and beyond death itself, we are one, everlasting. Oh, come on. No, come on. We have to keep going, keep remembering. Come on. Trusted you, Caleb. What do you know? I'm even immune to the stake now. So, what do you think we ought to do with this, Slayer? I mean, it didn't work on me, but, um, you're just a man now, aren't you? Just flesh and blood? Okay, okay, well, if you see Tess, call me, all right? Yeah, yeah, I'm starting to worry. Thanks, Jamal. <sighs> Tess! Oh, my God. What's going on? I woke up and you weren't here. What? Hey, what's the matter? You're, you're crying. What is it, Tess? Are you, are you... Oh, no. Are you having those strange flashes again? What, what are, are the headaches? Is it the headaches? Are you having those... Tess, you have to talk to me. Tell me what's going on. I want to know. I, I can't figure it out unless you tell me. It's me, Jack. I'm not real. I'm not a real person, am I? Allison, there's just something that I want to share with you, okay? Something wonderful. Mother, I don't like how you're acting, and I really don't like how you look, okay? Your cheeks are flushed, you're, <sighs> like, shaking, and you've been talking a million miles a minute. Either you have a touch of the flu back, or you are on something. Allison, I'm high on life, that's all. <laughs> I've never felt better. Are you sure that this water that you're drinking, this designer water, maybe isn't some sort of, like, feel-good juice, maybe? Are you implying that I'm on drugs? I'm not implying anything. I'm, I'm flat-out asking. Are you? Allison, it's nothing like that. It's, it's about Stephen. It's about love. It's, it's about feeling alive after years of sleepwalking. Okay, you're freaking me out. All right? Uh, I'm gonna call. The doctor, I, I don't know what's going on with you, but you're not acting like yourself. Go ahead. Take what you need. You don't have to fight it anymore. anymore. <sighs> 
Yes, yes, I'll hold, but please hurry. I have a special gift for you, Allison. Something from a mother to a daughter. Something old. Something new. We'll call it an early wedding gift. I never could have trusted you, Kayla. do with this slayer i mean it didn't work on me but um you're just a man now aren't you just flesh and blood no no you you can't be she's you seen your face when i did that little waking from the dead thing it was priceless it is the water isn't it it helps <laughs> here i was offering you an olive branch and not only did you not accept it but you took it and tried to shove it through my heart See, I'm the bad guy. Right, you want to take me down? Come on. Take your best shot. I know the truth now. About the pictures I see in my mind. There are things that happen to Livy, I know, because they happen to me, too. No, oh, see, so you just think that because you feel other people's pain. That's why I went to see her. And we started talking. And suddenly, it all came back to me. What, what did? What, what are you talking about? I'm a part of Livy. No. No, Tess, you might look like Livy, but you are not Livy. Does not mean you're Livy. No, I am her. No, stop it. You, you are Tess. You are a wonderful person. No, Livy's not. No, no. I'm not a person. Jack, I'm no one. I'm no one. Not that I don't have every right to kill you. But that's not what I'm about anymore. So what are you about, Caleb? What are you into these days? Fame, fortune, rock and roll. In Port Charles. All the places on the planet, you choose to come to Port Charles. Yeah, it was a start. Actually, I think the Stephen Clay experience is going to be hitting the road real soon. You expect me to believe that? You expect me to believe you're just going to slink out of town without leaving your usual trail of bodies, dead and undead? I'm not slinking. I never slink. And you, my friend, have serious trust issues. And you have already started destroying lives. I've been a perfect citizen. You turned Allison's mother. And as long as Elizabeth is still sharpening her fangs, Allison will never be safe. Is that what's bothering you? <laughs> well, I consider it eliminated. Elizabeth will never bother you and Allison again. Hi, uh, Dr. Hamilton, please. Yes, yes, I'll hold. I've wasted so much time without you. And now we can be together forever. Forever. That's the gift I'm giving you. Mother, I love you. I just want to make sure that you're not sick, okay? Mothers and daughters, they're supposed to look out for each other, right? Yeah, yeah, it's come down, okay, okay? Allison, I know I don't deserve it. Please, just give me a chance, okay? I'll do anything. Please just let me be your mother. I can't believe what I was about to do. That's fine. 
Just have them call as soon as he gets a message. Thank you. Okay. The doctor wasn't there, but they are going to call us back as soon as they get the message. In the meantime, why don't you get some things and come over to my house so that I can look at it? Actually, you know, suddenly okay. I'm feeling much better. I, I think I'm just nervous about the wedding, you know. Mother of the bride jitters and everything. I'll, I'll be fine after I take a bath. Well, maybe you have some sort of No, don't, don't. Stay away from me. I just still might have some of the flu. I just, I don't want to take any chances. Mother, maybe you're hungry or something. No. I, mean, I could get you something to no. eat. No. Just, I'll be fine after I take a bath, okay? Mother, oh, will you get that for me, please? Thanks. <laughs> um, Mr. Travis, what are you doing here? Uh, you're a detective, so you can pretty much find me anywhere. I'm sorry, come in. Oh, sorry. I got a sweet lead on your missing relative. This was hidden behind a wall in your father's office. I'm betting it holds some answers to your questions about his private life. I'm sure that it, it probably does. Oh, I'll go ahead and look through it on my own, if you don't mind, and then I'll get back to you. Okay. Okay, thank you. Let's see what you've been hiding all these years. Uh -huh. 